This video will cover some of the transformations that can be applied to your chart's data through the Visual SQL steps. Let's open one of the charts on our dashboard to further transform our chart. If we take a look at the results table, you can see that our issues created column doesn't have any data for some of the months where issues were resolved. To help clean up our data, we can use a zero fill step to replace any null values with a zero instead. A zero fill step can be useful because you can't perform arithmetic operations like summing or multiplying on null values. Now, if we take a look at the results table again, our issues created column has zeros for any months where issues weren't previously created. Next, it'd be great to see the total number of issues created or resolved each month. To do that, we can add a formula column either to the right of all the columns or at the top of the result table. Then we're going to use the total column sum guided formula, which will add all of our columns together. After clicking save, a new column is added, which has the total number of issues created or resolved each month. Let's rename this column to total issues by selecting the column name and then typing the new name. Additionally, we can rename the month of created at column to month created or resolved. There are many other ways you can transform your charts through Visual SQL steps. If you have trouble applying any transformation, please contact the Atlassian Analytics support team.